Welcome friends, welcome at Flower Factor. Uh, I'm going to show you another cool uh, how to make. I've placed this already on paper in writing on, uh, on the page, but I'm going to show you how it works just live so you can see the process. What we need is a piece of paper with a little bit of a wax finish and we're just going to cover it with wool. And basically we can mix all kinds of colors and what we're going to do is just create a nice structure with different colors of wool. This is of course, uh, well not of course, but this is a nice uh, commercial technique and we can work really fast and nice with it and it's also fun. So again, a few important things and we're just going to cover it like that. We can make different shapes, of course. In this case, I'm just making it a little bit round. And just trying to create a nice structure. Then we have our candle box. And I'm just going to put it on with a brush. And in the beginning, it's a bit tricky because the wool will stick to the uh, brush but at a certain time it's also sticking to the paper and we can easily cover it with the candle wax. Make sure that the candle wax is really hot so it really gets into the fibers of the wool And again, it's about playing. It's about trying to create an open mind for yourself that you see possibilities in everything because that will help you grow in your work. Put this away for a moment. And then we have it looking like this. Looks already cool, I think. I'm gonna prepare a little bit for later on the design. So I have this asparagus and I'm just taking off the green. In this case I just want the nice branch on its own. We're just gonna take some fibergrass about four and just making two little loops and again this is just preparing while the candle wax is getting a little bit cooling down and we need it to cool down a little bit for the next step in the design take that away and then we have to check if it's a little bit already okay to use, maybe a little bit stepping out of the image. A little bit more candle wax maybe. Just a tiny bit. Making sure it's fixed really well. Of course, we never have the patience to wait for it to dry. But it shouldn't be dry completely. It still has to be a little bit soft still has to be a little bit uh, movable so we're just gonna well, I'll show you how it's looking then we have a nice bowl and what we're gonna do with the paper is we're gonna slide it over the edge of your table just making sure that put this away before it breaks <laughs> Just making sure that this side too, that the frame we are creating with the with the wool is getting a little bit loose. And then, if all is correct, we can just get it off like this. It's still a bit warm, and that's good. And then we gently gonna place it over, and we can shape it 
because it's still warm, we can shape it around the container. And that's, I think, very cool. The wax will attach a little bit to the glass container, which is good because then we have solid base and then we can just put one or two gerbas in and of course it's a structure so in this case I'm going to arrange the flowers also like a structure it's a nice gloriosa and maybe one or two more and the nice thing is this candle wax will of course become very hard so we have a really cool strong structure that is easy to work on I'm just gonna put it in very carefully of course the trick is to get it fixed really well and again it's not always easy but we have to try to make it as easy as possible <coughs> and we just take up a few of the longer ones like that we can do the same with our uh, nice fiberglass movement I can even go underneath the shade and go in again and again it's just showing you a technique and it's about making cool designs trying to opening up uh, inspiration so we all can benefit from that and we all can tell better stories to our customers I'm just gonna add one more of course it has to be fixed as tight as possible And then we have a nice cool design. Of course we can do any kind of flower filling on this as we like. We can mix it, we can group it, we can make it high and we can keep it low. Uh, in this case I just want to open closed structure. The open structure comes from the glass going to the little fibers here, to the mass here. Uh, well, another how to make. I hope you will try this technique. Trust me it's fun. Uh, keep on enjoying and keep on creating with a smile and I hope to see you next time here at Flower Factor. So take care and bye bye.